Hello everyone, Simon here with pack to live and today I'm doing a quick video, quick and crude given how cold and windy it is uh, and how bold I am right now, to show how to tie, or one method of many, of how to tie a schmog. A schmog is a 40 inch by 40 inch piece of essentially high grade cotton with a really nice weave. Let me try and show that here. It's got, a, a, it's got like air cells in the fabric. Uh, to trap heat, that is worn by, it's basically a bit of traditional Arab headdress, but it's worn by a lot of military people as well in the field, especially in the deserts, uh, to keep dust and things out in, in sandstorms, um, and generally to keep them warm, especially in the winter and so forth. And uh, I figure maybe it'd be a good idea to show one of the many methods of, of tying them. They could be worn like a, um, a bandana if you need to, it's easy as tying it around your head like you would a bandana once it's in a triangle. But basically it comes in a square and the first thing you really want to do is to, I'm sorry the wind's blowing against it which isn't making my life any easier but that's where the sunlight is so I have to be oriented this way. But the first thing you want to do is fold the square into a triangle, just corner to corner, one opposing corner to the other and you'll end up with a triangle. Keep that up against me there. Okay, uh, and once you've got it in a triangle the way I'm tying it now is you put it over your head so that your head is in the center. Okay, I'm sorry, this is very difficult to do into the wind. Normally you wouldn't want to do it into the wind. And then uh, make sure that you've got about even lengths on either side, okay? And you could do that just by putting the corners together and judging that. What you want to do is make sure you've got a bit overhanging and pinch it like this. So you're pinching out and away so it's flat against your scalp in front, sort of just above your eyes. Then you want to hold and tuck the corner, one corner first, okay, I'll see if I can get closer, and then pull it down over your mouth, okay, you're going to probably have trouble hearing me after this because of the uh, cloth being in front of my face, and around, and then you want to tuck the corner into the side here, okay, now with the other side, you want to repinch, Straighten it up, repinch, fold, hang on, fold it in so it's tucked, pull it down under your chin, around the back of your head, okay, and then again, tuck it into the corner. Now, that's on fully, okay, that's giving me complete head and neck coverage. Now, remove that. Now you can just pull that down to expose your face, okay, and I need to do that for my microphone. Um, there are an infinite number of ways of tying one of these. They all have their pros, their cons, their particular niche purpose and, and use. This is the most coverage you will get from, really, as far as I'm aware, of all the methods of tying a schmog, this one gives the best coverage. Uh, you can pull the, pull the front up at any time to give you mouth and nose coverage. Uh, you've got complete head coverage. It's not flapping about, so when you move, it doesn't flap about. Uh, and I've got to say that I am now actually very, very warm. Uh, my head is lovely and warm. My neck is warm. My face is warm, except for, obviously, the nose where I'm exposed at the moment. Uh, one downside of a schmog, uh, folding it in any way that covers the mouth and nose, is if you wear glasses as I do, um, you will fog up badly, unless you've got some form of anti-fog spray or insert for your glasses, uh, which I don't, <laughs> so you'll fog up badly. You could lay down with this on, there's no point at which it presses in, there's no bulges around the head, around the back of the head or the sides or even at the front, so you can lay down in your hammock or in your sleeping bag on the floor or wherever you end up sleeping with this on fully. Uh, you can breathe through it well enough to not suffocate, there, there's no real risk there and uh, there's no strangulation risk because the corners are all tied up, there's nothing that's, it's not moving about or shifting. Um, occasionally a corner will come untucked and you just tuck it back in. So yeah, this is a very practical way of wearing a schmog. Now I'm going to link to a video from uh, a brilliant German YouTuber whose name I can't remember, but you don't need to know German because it's not speaking, it's just visual demonstrations on video showing a bunch of other different ways of tying them, except for I don't think this method the center and pinch method was one of the ones he demonstrated, which is one of the reasons why I've done this video here. 
Um, but check that out if you want to look at a bunch of other different ways of doing it. Schmogs, are, you can get them as cheap as a couple of quid on Amazon. I, I think I got one each for my kids for about three quid a piece. Um, they weren't particularly great. This one's a, a, an issue one, so I paid about £7.50 for this. Um, and then you can get some traditional Arab wear, uh, some actual, I mean, genuinely amazing colours and patterns and things. So be as creative as you like with it. Um, you can get them in OD green, if that's what your thing is. You could probably get them in camo, if that's your thing, uh, which is not my thing. I know I'm wearing camo trousers today, but it's threatening rain, so these are waterproofs. And I just put them over the top of my trousers in case it rains. So, a schmog, an infinitely versatile piece of headwear that you basically can use to, to protect your head, face, and neck, all at the same time. Uh, in an emergency, this could be used as a pre-filter for water. Just pull that down again. Uh, so you can pre-filter your water with it, remove all the large debris, the mud, the sand, all that stuff from your, from your drinking water, or before it becomes your drinking water anyway. Um, in hot weather, you can wet this. Because it's cotton, it'll hold a lot of water and it'll help um, keep you cool in, in the summer. In the winter, obviously, keep it dry uh, because it's cotton. It'll absorb a lot of water, so if you get it wet and you put it on, it's going to be less effective. But, um, yeah, while dry, brilliant. Uh, you can treat it just as you can any cotton and make it shed water. If you get something like the either the DuPont uh, waterproofing spray or Grangers do a cheaper version of the same basic chemical. You want to really make sure you get a decent amount of um, overlap. So take your time with it, you know, and then you want to get a good couple of inches at least and make sure everything's pinched down tight and tucked in deep. There we go. It's because I'm moving this, it's loosening that, but there we go. Okay, so thank you very much for watching.